Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video Basingstoke Town travel to Marlow in another crucial six point a playoff game we've come off the back of um, three straight home games um, two defeats in those games very disappointing wasn't it Gemma but um, yeah. But today we hope to put that to right, um, considering that our, our away form is absolutely fantastic. Just one defeat all season away from home at the hands of Bracknell, the league winners. And that was a 92nd minute winner for them. So, of course, um, today we can hopefully keep up our away record. But, Gem, I know you're not for, as confident, are you, for this one? No, hopefully we get a win. If not, we'll be happy with the draw. Yes. Hopefully, yeah. And in terms of team news, um, Brad Wilson might be out uh, with wrist injury, possibly. And Brody Pert might be returning to the side. But we'll see anyway. Um, oh, I'm sure there's many Basingstoke fans that want to see Brad play today to get his revenge on what happened to him last time. Yeah, definitely. And um, again, also in recent news, um, we've heard that unfortunately Staines Town have postponed some of their future fixtures due to a lot going on behind the scenes. Uh, we do feel sorry for the Staines faithful. It's not a good time for them. They're looking like they, well, they are going down. But at this point, they, the club may not even play for next year. But we're seeing that anyway. But that also affects Basingstoke Town Football Club for the playoff hunt. Um, if they went bust, well, didn't play the rest of the season, we actually would be at the playoff spots right now. But hopefully Staines can find a resolution and they can play again before the season's end. Um, so, yeah, this game couldn't be any more crucial now with the Staines thing going on. But Marlow are sort of out of the playoff spots at the moment. If we win today, they could well be out of the playoff race and we'd be more likely to be in it. But um, overall, I'd say a draw. I'll take Anyway, I'll take a draw. Um, but I think we certainly can't lose today, can we, Gemma? I think that's a... No, I think we should... Continue by it's a must ways. win. But Gemma, can I have your prediction, please? Yeah, I'm going to go 1-0 to us. 1-0. I'm going 2-1 Basingstoke. Hopefully, Lynch can get another goal after his goal against Guernsey. Um, but, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it goes. We're off for a little walk around um, the nice little town of Marlow. High Street. The High Street, yep. Um, obviously, if you don't want to see any of that, then you can skip forward. But hopefully, um, hopefully you stick around. We're here in Marlow, it's quite a nice place, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah, very nice, lovely. As you can see, all around us, the waterfall, absolutely glorious. We're loving it here, not long to the football, but um, what a nice place. Seems we've got a little market going on, eh, Gemma? Yeah. Seems we've got a little market going on. Yeah, market. Yeah, we like food market mainly. Plenty of good food here. There's uh, pastries, chips, chicken, everything. Asian food and crafts on the high street. Oh yeah. So we're heading back from the high street to the ground. Gemma, overall, it's a nice place, isn't it, Marlow? Yeah, and it's a lovely day so far. Yeah, it's a bit cloudy, but um, hopefully things will get a bit the better. The high street was nice. A bit really busy though and crowded, but it was nice. Yeah. So we're heading back to the the club car park now we're parked up there nice and early little car park but um as long as you get parked there's the main thing so um here we go so with that let's get to the game <laughs>
So we've just got back from the game, it finished at Basingstoke Town nil, Marlow nil. First thing we want to get off our chest is unfortunately, um, you might have noticed that um, during the game, um, any fellow fans that we know, that we were afraid quite weren't ourselves today and there's a very good reason for that. Um, Jack was rushed into hospital um, not long before kickoff. Um, the good news is he is out of hospital and that's the main thing. So today I think Gemma's fair to say, um, we weren't bothered about the football then, was we really? Really, he was all over the place. I tried to get some good clips as much as I could. I couldn't do that many though. Yeah, we was in a very tight predicament where we couldn't really leave for various reasons. Um, he had plenty of people around him, so that's, that's, that's the main thing. Um, obviously, you know, it was, it was one of those days that started off really well. We went into Marley, you would have seen at the start of the video. Um, absolutely a nice little place. Um, nice little ground. Some of their fans were really chatty and friendly. It's a nice high street as well. Yeah, nice overall nice high street. It was it was a, it was a nice area. Um, and uh, even had a little chat with the, I think it was the referee before the game. We've seen these videos, and if you're watching, the thing is, I respect referees. I know they, I know they get a lot of flack. They make a lot of bad decisions sometimes. But in the day, I think we can all agree that re without referees, we wouldn't have a sport. And you know, if he's watching this, he got a lot of stick in the game, and I wouldn't take it personally. Foot, it's just football, isn't it? We get a bit mad. I personally don't go that mad at referees like some people, like some of our fans do. But you know, if he's watching, you know, I, I you know, I've got nothing really to say. Really, I just. I respect what they do, and it's it's one of the worst jobs ever being a football referee, I think. But um, just quickly, we're not going to go too much into detail because it was all because of the shenanigans before the kickoff. I can't remember much happened. I, I don't really care about the game, to be honest with you. Um, so like I said, it was nil nil. Um, I'd say overall first half we should have 
put two goals in maybe, went just wide of the post. I um, think I think we played well, considering we was out of our, some of our players today. We did really well. Yeah, Bradley Wilson was missing, obviously. Brody Pert was back in the side, which is great. Connor Lynch didn't play. Connor Lynch didn't play. No, I don't, don't remember seeing him. Uh, Strudley was excellent in goal again. It was just one of those, it was like the Chertsey game. I've better than the Chertsey game, because at least there was a few shots there, wasn't there, in the game. But um, it was another boring nil-nil. Um, but we'll take that. We're still in the playoffs by one point ahead of Uxbridge. Four points behind, ahead of... Um, Obviously, Marla, who we played today, um, they, their playoff chase really is getting limited now. They've got to catch up. But with the Staines thing going on behind the scenes, it'd be interesting to see if we would get knocked out of those playoff spots. There's a lot to go on now. So Just hope not. We've got South Park next Saturday. Then we've got another three games after that. So it's getting very, very close now. Um, but like I said, today we didn't really enjoy it as much as we would have wanted to. Well, we just had Jack on our minds. Yeah, we did all day. And so hopefully next Saturday we're back to our normal selves because obviously Jack is out of hospital now, which is the main thing, which is good news. Um, thank you again to the subscribers. We, 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 we are going up a little bit. We're going to plan to do more. Hope you enjoy some of the effects, that we, like some of the slow mos we've done before the, before the kickoff. It's stuff that I love doing, that sort of stuff. And the, can I just say, the, br the bridge was really nice that we both Yeah, I think, it, well. I think Marlow, the thing is, in the league we're in, it, there's a lot of, dare I say, S-holes, <laughs> including well, Tooting. That was quite nice, it was a nice, that was yeah. one of the nicest places. Tooting's, got, like, for example, Tooting, lovely ground, I loved it, but the area, I hated it. That's why we went early, didn't we? We went early yeah, today. For Marlow, yeah, because it was just a nice area, I had nice things about it, and it didn't disappoint. Um, their goalkeeper, Simon Grant, where do we start with him? Um, if he's watched this, we've got to be careful what we say. It's football. <laughs> a lot of emotions run high. Um, he went down, he went down again, he went down again. <laughs> he, he, I think his BAFTA was, I think he got a BAFTA more for the performance at the home game than he did today. But <laughs> but it's a tough one with Simon Grant, the, the Marlow keeper. You know, he likes to fall down a lot, but... But in the, the day, I'm not going to see if it's malicious because <laughs> end of the day, it was funny because when he went down, he got straight back up. Yeah. After that, uh, but the thing we got, you. you know, putting our serious faces on, we, you know, he is a human being. I don't want, you know, him because you know, mental health and things is a big issue these days, and I don't want, you know, I joined him with a lot of the banter. I He's a cheat. <laughs> yeah, come on, Gemma. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, even if he was a cheat, you know, he's a human being, so let's not take it personally, especially, especially in terms of online and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but we'll move on from that. But, um, <laughs> but on to South Park at home next Saturday at three o'clock kickoff. We need those three points now. We need those three points definitely. But um, oh, and quickly as well, we mention, might be with some our players back as well. Maybe down Saturday. And just quickly on the mention, well done to the ladies team who have made the Junior Cup final. And I, as I am. Um, a woman, a lady, myself, I will be drumming and Matt will be filming for yeah, the Yeah, probably, yeah. But we'll be there. Um, cup final against uh, Gosport Borough ladies. We can't wait for that. Sunday the 24th of April, I think it is. 10.30 kickoff, would you believe? Extremely early. But anyway, we're going to wrap it there. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. And we will see you very soon.